Folks, it is time to talk campaign 2020. Voters today will decide on a high profile congressional race. A special election is now underway to fill former Congresswoman Katie Hill's seat after she resigned last year. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom has a look at what's at stake. For us, we wear masks and gloves. Every time a voter is processed at our e-poll books, everything is wiped down. Protecting the right to vote during a pandemic means sanitizing, social distancing, and new voting options. Election officials say they mailed a ballot to every eligible voter in the 25th Congressional District. We knew that people may not want to come to a voting center or anywhere, just stay at home. So we mailed them a ballot that they could just vote at home and mail from their house. At stake today, the congressional seat vacated by Katie Hill. Republican Aerospace Executive Mike Garcia and Santa Clarita Assemblywoman Christy Smith are vying to temporarily fill it. They'll square off again in November over the full term. I want my vote to count. I don't want it to be fraudulent. The increased use of vote by mail hasn't been without controversy, but polls suggest a majority of Americans support expanding it. National election officials say they've been inundated with calls about this new election age. And election officials are uh, scrambling to make sure that people do have what they need to be able to get their votes cast and their voice heard. So anyone eligible to vote in today's special election can either do so in person at one of these voting sites or mail in or drop off that vote by mail ballot at one of the designated spots. From Porter Ranch, Cara Finstrom, CBS 2 News.